Hey guys, so it is early on a Saturday morning of Labor Day weekend, so I have a three day weekend ahead of me. Yay! And it's actually supposed to be really, really hot in this area. So we're talking, um, I think they're estimating 110 degrees in the area that I'm specifically in. So we had had plans about going out to a local park this weekend, but we've decided to cancel those because of the heat warning and stay indoors and enjoy the air conditioning and maybe get some stuff done. So that's kind of why you see the mess behind me. There's going to be a lot of reorganizing happening this weekend. But I decided to take um, a few minutes at the very beginning of this day before it starts to get really hot and do some unboxings and get some filmings out of the way. So the first thing that we're actually going to take a look at is a Loot Vault mailing. So if you're not familiar already, so Loot Crate, which does a number of different types of boxes, also has kind of a merchandise store so if you are looking for a past item and don't necessarily want to get the whole subscription box that it came in you might be able to find that particular item available in their store for a discounted rate so what they'll do every once in a while is do a flash sale and they'll deeply discount certain items like maybe their figures or their books or something like that where you can really get some amazing deals uh, you can get you know t-shirts for like five dollars that sort of thing uh, you have to keep an eye out for those flash sales uh, get on their mailing list and be notified by them uh, sometimes they're only a day and it's obviously based off of whatever they have in inventory so it's a little bit of a crapshoot sometimes but if you are looking to expand your geeky stuff uh, on a budget, that might be a good option for you to get on their mailing list and keep an eye out for. So, I ordered some items a while ago from the Loot Vault and they had some delays with shipping due to assorted circumstances and I actually even forgot that I was expecting this until the whole drama with the Nerd Block and Shirt Punch Company started coming out and I went, wait a minute, I've ordered something from Shirt Punch. Still don't know what's going to happen with that order and nobody's responding to my email. So don't know if I'm going to get it. Don't know if I'm going to get a refund. Don't know. Uh, but when I started thinking about that, I was like, wait, I also ordered some stuff from Loot Vault. What's going on with that? When I contacted them, they said, yes, we, we are working on it, but there's been a delay in shipping and you'll get it soon. So I got it yesterday, finally. And it's been a while since I ordered this, so I don't even remember what I got. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. Now I do know that because of the cheap pricing on these items, I did specifically get one or two items that I'm going to set aside for my end of year donations to the, the local shelter that looks for gifts for teenagers. Um, because ge geek stuff is always kind of fun for that age group and they are also the kind of most overlooked age group when it comes to donations at Christmas time so uh, I try to grab a few things for the teens and this is a great way to do it so just keep that in mind if you're looking for ways to donate all right so let's find out what I ordered because I really don't remember uh, oh yeah that's right okay so I've got a Negan Sluggers t-shirt. I thought I had ordered this in the men's extra large, but apparently I ordered it in the women's extra large. So it is a very fitted tee. Hopefully that'll work for me. I usually don't like how they fit across my chest area, but we'll see. All right, so Negan Sluggers for you Walking Dead fans out there. My kitten is grabbing the scissors away from me. Yeah, boo. All right, the next thing that we have up here is a 2XL long sleeve shirt. And it is the Captain America and uh, Avengers Civil War shirt. And it's got the, the mixed media shield there. And what does it say on the side? I don't remember. 
Oh, it says Civil War. It says Civil War on the side. So it's a long sleeve shirt. So that's kind of cool. And it's and it's um the design is subtle enough that this could be something potentially that I could wear to work on a casual Friday when the weather gets cooler. So I like that a lot. And again, on sale, I think I paid five dollars for it. So loot vault, it's a good way to go. Alright, and I think this is the shirt that I got randomly for the donation giveaway thing that I was going to do. And sometimes you can get a random shirt and it's like really cheap. It's like $3.99 and you just pick a size and they'll send you a random shirt. So if you like a lot of geeky things, that could be an option. Um, and this, that's what this was for. Uh, so it's a Bill and Ted's shirt. Nice blue color. Very cool. And then a couple of other things that I got this time around. Apparently I've got a Loot Vault Redemption code that I can check out later. Uh, but I did get a couple of other items. I got the um, Logan Wolverine Medals figure, which was actually in one of their crates earlier this year. There were like two or three variants that were available. And I believe when I went to the Loot Vault, this was the only one that they had left. But I think I got this for like $5, so I was like, why not? Um, it is a metal die cast of Logan as Wolverine. So, very cool. And then the last item that I, re that I got in this batch is a color-changing mug. Batman. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. So it is a black mug with the city of Gotham on it. And then I believe it responds to hot liquid. Let's double check. Just says color changing mug. It doesn't specify unless it's in the fine print, which I can't read. But I'm going to assume that it's hot liquid. Uh, and then when you put it in, the bat symbol comes up in the sky. So, that is very, very cool. Yay! Oh, so, those are all of the items that I got in this Loot Vault haul. And I'm excited about them. And I'm excited about putting these things away and rearranging my house during this hot weekend. So, again, if you are looking for geeky items on a discount, you can't necessarily afford all the subscription boxes that are out there. Loot Vault and the similar types of offerings from different companies might be a good option for you because you can find some really cool stuff at a discount, uh, especially if you're not particularly looking for a specific franchise. So keep that in mind. Check it out. I'll include the link to Loot Vault down below if you want to go set up an account and check it out for yourself. But let me know what you thought. I mean, I think I paid maybe with the coupons and the discounts and I had some rewards points and stuff too. I think for all five of those items I think I might have paid maybe $20. So not too bad. Not too bad. Let me know what you think. And I'm going to keep filming some other stuff. So if you like watching unboxing videos, look for this tank top t-shirt in a few videos because I'm going to film a few back to back. So. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.